Your Excellency, Mr. Fernando, Nita Verma, the Secretary of Communication Government of Sri Lanka, the High Commissioner of India, Distinguished Foreign Secretary of the Government of Sri Lanka, ladies and gentlemen. Today is indeed a very historic day. It was the vision of our Prime Minister that the digital empowerment of India must find resonance in our neighborhood. India's digital story has certain very defined contours. India's Digital India program is designed to empower ordinary Indians with technology which is affordable, inclusive and development. And the whole idea is to propel India on a wide trajectory of development from economy to empowerment to education to health to knowledge creation. Because what we are doing in the process by creating enabling atmosphere we are seeking to give a new meaning to the innovative spirit of India. 65% of India is 35 years and below. And I think the same spirit of creativity and innovation also pervades the extraordinary population of Sri Lanka. And therefore, when the mandate was given by our Prime Minister that the new technology must be there to assist Sri Lanka. And I wish to make it very clear, we have come to assist, to help you to innovate, create more platform, more opportunity, and more employment for your people. That's how the present program has been initiated. What, it, what does it offer? E-office is a more accountable office. E-office is a more transparent office. E-governance is a faster governance. And therefore, anyone can see and note how decisions are being made. Therefore, in our government, we are promoting E-office in a very big way. Why is National Knowledge Network important? In India, we have got 1641,000 640 institutions on board NK, from triple ITs to scientific institutes to major universities or nearly all the universities. And as the Director General of NIC just disclosed, some of the best internet facilities for research are connected with NK. Today when NK and LEARN are coming together, and have you noticed one thing? India's is National Knowledge Network and yours is LEARN. Today, LEARN and knowledge are meeting together. That is also in many ways a reiteration of the heritage of India and Sri Lanka where knowledge seeking, knowledge sharing and knowledge empowerment has been part of our tradition. In that philosophical and civilizational sense, I see this great initiative one thing I would like to gently convey to our friends in Sri Lanka, that India's digital story is such a certain very defined footprint. In a population of 1.30 billion, India is home to 1.21 billion mobile phones. Nearly 400 million are smartphones. India is home to 1.21 billion Aadhaar, a verifiable digital identity kept in safe and secure condition, backed by a parliamentary law. And India has nearly 500 million internet. What are we doing? By linking Aadhaar with the 300 million bank account we have opened for the poor, seeded to the mobile, we are directly sending their welfare ent entitlement to their accounts. And we have saved $9 billion by weeding out the fictitious, the fake, and the middleman. And set, saved a lot of money. What is important is, from e-hospital, to e-scholarship, to national agriculture market for agriculture students, 
from soil health card, a digital health card for soil, for the farmers to enable them, to national knowledge network. All this is working together to make India more digitally empowered society. I also handle electronics. Only one particular example I would like to give you. When our government had come, there were only two mobile manufacturing factories. Now in India, in three and a half years, 108 mobile manufacturing factories have come. And India is becoming a big center of mobile manufacturing. They are also working, taking initiative to make a good data production law to protect data. Because data is the new oil. And I think Sri Lanka has a great potential to create an innovative mind for data innovation, data analysis. As India is also working closely. Therefore, this knowledge has a lot of wings. The network has a lot of platforms. What is important is that we have to accelerate. We have to collaborate. We have to co coordinate. And above all, above all, we have to mutually strengthen. With that message, I have come today. Mr. Fernando, the initiative, enterprise, and innovation of India will always be available for the people of Sri Lanka. I want to assure you. And I've already instructed my team in the Information Technology Department that today's beginning is on a pilot and a modest beginning. But this modest beginning must become a powerful platform whereby the conventional, civilizational, and cultural heritage of India and Sri Lanka also have a profound digital heritage. With this larger framework, I have come today. I am indeed very happy that I had the privilege and honor to come in this new premises of Mr. Fernando. Good luck to your new chamber. I can only say as a colleague in the government of India that this chamber of yours brings you good luck. And this building brings good luck to the people of Sri Lanka. Thank you. Namaskar. Greetings to Indo-Sri Lanka relationship.